Okay, in this video, we're going to cover three point light and Rembrandt lighting. Okay, so without light in the scene, everything will be just black and the audience cannot see what's going on in the movie or games that you play. Okay, that's why like lighting is very uh, important uh, stage and plays a vital role in the production timeline. Okay. Um, reason why the light is very important is because it's not just for the sake of having light or illuminate the scene. Okay, because there's also like information, things like sense of depth, the time of the day, the service that the audience can see when a lighting is applied to the scene. Okay, and also you can tell like aesthetic things that is happening in the scene. And also like storytelling, right? And there's a mood, there's silhouette, and some other things. Okay, so if you look at this example, like you can tell these two characters are scared. Okay, uh, that's because that you can see that there is this big silhouette, right? So at this uh, time or at this stage, like these two characters doesn't know like uh, who is this character, but the audience can see like uh, there is this like big. Um, character approaching them because you can see like this drop shadow is happening happening there okay so this is the kind of important things that light can do or uh, help the audience to understand what happened or what's going on in the scene now when it comes to lighting there are many 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 like setup okay but the one that we like to explore in particular will be three point light okay that's a very basic lighting setup that you can do. Now, the three-point light, as the name suggests, it will involve or it will require you to have three different light. Okay, so it will have the key light. Okay, and the second one will be fill or bounce light. And the last one will be back, kick or rim light. Okay, this all refer to the same things. And if you look at the setup, right, your subject will be placed in the middle. And you're going to have a key light. So this key light can be placed left or right. Okay, so in this scenario, it's being placed on the right. Okay, so if this key light is being placed on the right, usually the fill light, right, will be placed on the opposite direction. So in this case, on the left hand side. And the backlight, as the name suggests, it will be placed behind the subject or the object. Okay, now let's go through each breakdown on what is the purpose of each light. Now, key light. Okay, so the key light in this particular example is that referring to the main light. Okay, so as the name suggests, this is sh supposed to be the strongest or the brightest light in the scene. Okay, so this is will tell where the light source is coming from okay again the keyword is key light uh, strongest or brightest and main light okay now the next one will be a fill light now usually when you have this kind of setup right so let's say like the key light is being placed on this left hand side right and it leads to this character this right portion will resulting like it being too dark right and people cannot see like the other half of the character's face that's why the fill light comes in okay so the fill light will help to eliminate the character's face okay so this portion on the right hand side it will not be too dark okay and the way you set up the fill light right usually it's not as bright as the key light okay so let's say the key light that you set up having a uh, 10 as its intensity right and the fill light usually half of that but again there is no formula for that it's just a uh, try and see okay so this is the purpose of fill light so the keyword is um, is not as bright as the key light right
Again, as the name suggests, this is the light that you'll be placed on the back of the character. Okay, you can either place on the left, you can also place on the right, but you can also place on the center as well, okay, depending on the mood that you're trying to create. Okay, so the purpose of having a backlight is that it will helps you to separate the subject and the background, so that will make the character more stands out so the audience can see or focus more on the character as it's not blends with the background. Okay, in this example we have the key light so this is what happens if you only have a key light in your scene so the key light you can see like it's being placed on the top left okay you can see because this portion of this gecko is too dark okay now this picture the second one is only having the fill light on right you can see like by having this fill light it will eliminate all these like dark spot that is happening on the right hand side okay that's why like fill light is very important when you're doing this three point light setup now again if you notice right the gecko is kind of blends in with the background okay so i can i cannot really see like where his leg is ending right so by having this rim light it helps you like uh, make the character or make the audience like uh, can see the separation okay so the purpose of having a rim light is that it will separate or it will this character from the background right so it doesn't blend in now uh, this picture it has all the light turns on now you can see like there's much much improvement by only having one light right so the, there are three light present here and you can see like uh, the left and the right it's uh, visible right and you can see this nice like a highlight happening around his uh, silhouette okay so this one might need a little bit like adjustment because I can see that his arms are still a little bit too dark but it's better than this one okay again this example so this is applied to a real photo so if you notice that this one it's um, only having the key light on Right, and this one having the fill light, and this one is backlight, right? Because without having the backlight, you cannot see like where uh, her hair is ending or how the hair like silhouette. But once you apply everything, and you get a nice silhouette of this lady. Again, I uh, have a link for the three point light simulation. So if you click that link, they will take you to this website. Okay, so this is basically um, what the simulation looks like. So if I turn on the key light, right, it looks very flat. Okay, I cannot really see like um, the other side right well, especially on the right hand side. But the left side is not so bad. Okay, so if I uh, combine the key light and the fill light, right, so I can see like her right hand side of the face is much better right and if I turn off the key light this will give me what the fill light contribution will look like okay so not that much and if I only turn on the backlight they will give me this okay if I turn on everything I will give me that okay so it will make the character or the lady like stands out from the background I think in my opinion like the backlight can be a little brighter but I guess it's better than not having the backlight at all, right? So this is before and this is after. So you move, you make like a slight improvement, but it can still be better. Okay, now Rembrandt lighting is actually like a lighting method, right? That often used to create like a natural and compelling look with minimum equipment. Okay, uh, this technique is usually can be identify by a triangle happening around the subject's eyes okay so this technique is actually like developed by the old, old like Dutch painter but it can see, still be applicable to modern like digital lighting technique okay so again this is a painting that was done by Rembrandt so if you notice um, his uniqueness is that there is a small triangle 
that was mentioned before around the subject eyes okay so there's triangle here happening there and this is a very like three point light setup that you can also refer when you do your assignment okay uh, have have this uh, triangle shape okay as mentioned like there's techniques also be applied to modern movie so there's you can see like there's a triangle there right happening there okay so movie often used a three-point light to make the character like stands out and you can see like there's a rim light apply here okay around this character's uh, hair so this character's kind of like stands out from the background otherwise it will be like uh, this side uh, blends in okay um, this kind of technique also applied to the modern age of uh, photography and advertisement so you can see like there is a nice triangle happening there nice triangle happening there and same with the old painting okay and also apply to the modern movie and happening here right happening around there happening around there right happening around there okay so this is something that you can apply also to your assignment or project